So I'm here at Inverness Castle, I don't know if you can see it behind me, behind all the uh, building works there. And I'm just about to start riding the Badger Divide. I've just got the train up from Glasgow to here in Inverness. It's about lunchtime, it's uh, just about quarter to two in the afternoon. It's a wee bit later than I'd like to start, but I'm um, just going to start riding. I'm kind of aiming for kind of round about the Coriatic Pass today. Um, I'll just kind of see how I go. Weather's looking really, really variable, so um, yeah, i just got to ride on and see how it goes. So that was a wee bit of a, a wee bit of a wee climb to get started off. A wee bit of a tricky time finding my way out of Inverness there. Uh, I think my maps are maybe a wee bit out of date. <laughs> it's a nice new uh, new new built housing estate that uh, aye, doesn't really look anything like what it looks like in the Garmin. You can see Inverness down there behind me. Uh, made up a wee bit of height. Bit of a headwind, I don't know if you can hear that blowing on the camera, but um, yeah, it's a bit breezy, hoping that eases up. But, um, yeah, it's dry for now, so I'll take that. Well, I'm now um, just outside Drumna Drocket. Um, I'm just following this track up the hill here. Um, had a nice climb at Inverness. Uh, reasonably flat actually from Inverness once you got up. Uh, a really, really fun little drop down at Drumna Drocket, which you might have seen on camera. That was really enjoyable. Um, bit hairy, but quite fun. <laughs> um, so with all that down, I've now just got to go right back up again. So I think this is going to be the theme of the next, um, the next however far, just kind of um, drops and ups um, at the various towns, so. Well, I'm just climbing, just getting to this climb out of Drum the Rock. It's feeling like it's leveling out a wee bit now. Um, it's probably not. It's the usual full summit patter. Totally cursing it as always. Um, yeah, now the rain's on. Which is fun. Still pretty light and smeary for now. So I'm uh, not putting the jacket back on just yet. Um, yeah, maybe if this levels out, maybe if the rain increases, but we'll see. Uh, for now, I'll just keep on uh, trucking on. I'm on tarmac at the moment, which is making the climbing a good bit easier. Um, still though, Hi, some pretty steep bits back there in the, uh, on the gravel track. But yeah, hard work, eh? Spooky. That's the answer to the so hey! Alright, cheers! Thank you! Is it sketchy or why sketchy? I probably. It's 
So I uh, finally made it to Fort Augustus. Um, I've been like really getting myself excited the whole way because um, I knew there was a chippy here and I was like brilliant I'll get a chippy that'll fuel me up and then I can get the last wee stretch up to Blackburn Bossy but it's closed and I don't know why Hello! Um, I can't remember when I last uh, spoke to the camera um, I think it was maybe down in Fort Augustus Last night was pretty, pretty horrible to be honest. Um, I think I was chatting to you, I was having a bit of a rant outside the chippy, I don't know if that actually recorded because the battery died in the middle of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I got to Fort Augustus last night, the chippy was shot. I ended up just going to a wee pub called The Bossy, um, getting scampi and chips there, which was fine, but it ended up taking me a lot longer than I would have liked. Um, I then rode up to Blackburn Bossy, um, I didn't bother recording any of this because it was basically dark. Um, it was absolutely pissing down the rain. I was really miserable last night. Um, I got to the bossy. The bossy was good. Needed that. Needed a dry, dry place to stay. Um, and now I'm at the top of the Coriatic Pass, from what I can tell. Um, you can see my bike just parked down there. There's um, a wee bit of sunshine attempting to poke through. Um, I can see the the path um, sort of stretching out in front of me. I'm just here at this little kind of um, radio repeater station, I think. Man, that was, a, that was a rough last night and a pretty hard start to the day. I'm not feeling overly positive at the moment. I'm not going to lie, in a pretty kind of spooky dark place. Um, but the wind is behind me, that did help coming up the pass. Um, I've been having various thoughts about different kind of bailout strategies, whether to try and hop on a train at Carrer and just bail out that way, um, or just keep trucking south and see how I go. But yeah, for now I'm not feeling amazing. I'll maybe get some food, I don't know, I'll see. And um, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll hopefully make it back. I don't know if I'll... I don't know if I've got the legs left in me for like 250k over the next couple of days, but yeah, we'll see.
Hi, pals. Hello. Hello. Hi. So I'm here. Uh, just on the edge of Loch Ossian at the moment, um, heading towards the Carrer Station House and Carrer Station. Um, and I've just decided I'm scratching it. Um, I'm not going to carry on, I'm basically just going to get to the Station House, see if I can get a bite to eat, um, and then just try and catch the, catch the train back down to Glasgow. Um, Pretty unhappy to be making that decision, but I'm uh, just not in it today. Just legs aren't working, brain's just not into it at all. I'm just a bit fucked off, so I think it's just time to call it quits. I really, really don't think I've got the legs or or the brain to carry me the rest of the way back down on the on the badger to Glasgow. So I think I'm just going to quit. Um. Yeah, I don't really know why I'm not feeling so good. I mean, I know much. I've not really done any big kind of long training rides on the bike, but I thought I'd done enough. And I thought all that base fitness I had from training for the Devil of the Highlands would have been, would have kept me going, but nah, just not happening, so. And also the fact that I'm supposed to be in Spain right now. <laughs> My holiday's been canceled. I should be sitting in the sun on the beach, eating patatas bravas and having a beer, but. Instead, I've just been getting rained on. I mean, it's dry now. I'm kind of drying out a little bit, but my um, I'm just completely soaked. Um, I'm not cold, but it's not not that nice. And I just want to go home and eat crisps. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> 